Um, hello, uh, this is my first YouTube channel, and it's going to be on a, an odd, a rather odd subject, but it is a subject that nonetheless needs to be talked about. I would say probably more. Um, okay. So, this 27-year-old teacher, Brittany Zamora, uh, decided to touch a 13-year-old student. Now, obviously, um, there is no name to the student, and I wouldn't give it out even if there was, because of the simple fact that he was a victim, and he is a minor. Um, I, he's only, he's two years younger than, than I, so I can't act like I'm any older or experienced, but I, I'm not giving out his name. Um, it started from messaging on, I guess, a school app, and then it went to Instagram. I uh, went from just normal messages, which is still weird, to flirting, and then it went into sexually explicit. Um, the student told an interviewer, though, that uh, he doesn't remember when it, it went sexual, but he does remember their first kiss. And uh, they began to exchange stuff on messages like, I love you, and stuff like that, which is disgusting. And let me get this clear, she does not love this boy, okay? She sees that she can get a power... Sh uh, she can become more powerful than him. It's it's all based on a power struggle, okay? Um, and all a, any of you out there that are watching this, if any, are um, a supporter of pedophilia, you're disgusting, and they do not love each other. There's no such thing as love for a minor. I'll go as far to say that because it is and either way, it is gross, okay? This kind of love, at least. What they're talking about here. Now, you can love your parents, you can love your sister, but not in this way. Okay. Anyway. Um, she sent him nude photos of, of her, which is appalling. It, it is disgusting how... Um, somebody could do this to somebody like that. You know, it's, she's, it's not all, it's like, okay, so if you have a boss and an employee, this boss, the reason why it's frowned upon for a boss to ask out an employee, somebody that's lower than him, is, is because there's a power dynamic there. The employee doesn't want to lose their job. They may not even find this um, boss attractive at all. They, they might find him as a sleaze bag or something. But this power struggle. So she, or he, I don't care, is going to say yes. Is a, is a, good, a good chance to say that is why it's frowned upon in society to ask out your... Um, your uh, employee, and it, it it is kind of gross in a lot of ways. I mean, you may actually like her, you know, and but there's there's so many cases where, um, it, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's disgusting what she did to this boy, and all of her acts. Um, his classmates uh, said in an interview that it's weird that a 27-year-old can love a 13-year-old, and they're totally right. You know, it, it is weird in this world. I, some people like to argue that, oh, but in the Middle East, they marry at a young age, and a lot of the girls marry a um, marry an older man. Yes. But that's still gross, okay? For one, and for two, they have a completely different culture than ours. They're they're raised to um, grow mentally more than us. For two, and for three, again, it is disgusting. Either way, 
Um, and uh, another one said, it is just crazy and she is not a good person, which that student, again, is completely right. She, it is crazy and she is disgusting. She's gross. Okay, people like this give make me sick to my stomach. Um, the teacher's husband defended her, I guess. Um, from what I saw, he said things like, um, he said things like, she is an amazing person, and, um, and we, we, we just want her back home, which, one, we don't, we just want her, want her back home is not a defense, and two, this guy defended a woman that raped a little boy. Okay. How how do you just for anything he should be even more mad because he was married to her. He put her his he put his trust into her. And he's still going to defend her. I don't I don't understand the, I, I, I could never understand this guy's mental, like, this guy's brain, what's going on inside his head. So I'm not, I'm not going to try to project myself as such. But at the same time, I, I just, I don't get why he would, he, he would defend her. It, would, it should make him even more mad because he is married to her. Started a family with her. I don't know if she had children, but marriage is the start of a family. And I can't believe he would even defend her. Um, this is downright sick and it happens a lot more than I think a lot of people uh, suspect. Um... There's, there's some more, I'd have to look up names, but, uh, there's, uh, and it, it's also around the same age range. Recently, around 23 to 28, somewhere around there. Now, obviously, there's differences, and plus, like, these are just teachers as well as, I'm pretty sure there's male teachers, and people that are older than that. But from what I've noticed right now is that right now they're around 23 to 28 and they're majority female. Not to say they're the creepy men that kidnap um, little boys and girls. But I, I don't I don't know why, but I, th I, I think we ha may have a bit of a stigma. Or not really a stigma, I think that's a bad word uh, to describe it, but... Um, um, the way we treat male pedophiles over female pedophiles. And there's gross people out there that are like, well, if I was a 13-year-old boy, then um, I would have the time of my life. That is just gross to say. I don't know why anybody would ever try to say something like that that is disgusting. And, um... Now, obviously, I think this came out, like, months ago, and when I mean months ago, I, I'm pretty sure last year, but, um, it's just the point that people like this are in the school system. They're in the school system, and it's just bound to come out.